Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Episode 3, A Safety Place, is my favorite episode so far. We meet the greatest gleeman of them all, Tom Marilyn, and I have the suspicion that I'm going to enjoy the TV version of Tom more than the book version. And we also get our first glimpse at the Aiel. So, let's get on with the video. To start this off, I'm going to dedicate the entire number 5 spot to Nynaeve. The last episode ended with Nynaeve sneaking behind Lan and putting a dagger at his throat. But how did she get here? Well, the episode begins with another cold open. By the way, I hope that they continue to use cold opens because they are such an effective tool. But in this cold open, we see how Nynaeve escaped the Trolloc attack and we see that she's not just a healer but also a fighter and a survivor. Seeing her kill the Trolloc was such a cool moment and from there she goes off to rescue her friends, who she thinks were taken by Lan and Moraine. When she catches up to them, she straight up tries to kill Lan, and the fact that she managed to sneak behind a water tells us even more about her skills. Lan decides to let her heal Moraine because there's no other choice, and you can tell by their interactions that he's really bothered by the fact that she managed to sneak up on him. When he asks how she did it, she doesn't answer. Nynaeve so far is another character that I think I'm going to enjoy more in the show than in the book. So far the character is pretty much the same in both the show and the book, but Zoe Robbins, the actress playing Nynaeve, is making me care so much more about Nynaeve and it all comes down to her acting skills. She is absolutely incredible. Every actor in the show is doing an incredible job, but I think Zoe Robbins as Nynaeve is the standout for me. At number 4, I have Perrin's Nightmare Sequence. In the last episode, we saw Rand's nightmare and we were introduced to Mr. Fire Eyes. We learned that Rand wasn't the only one having these nightmares. Matt, Perrin and Ewain also met Fire Eyes in a nightmare and here we see it from Perrin's point of view. Mr. Fire Eyes invades his dream and we see Perrin back in the two rivers. He sees his wife Layla being eaten by a wolf and I do have an issue with this scene but I can't get into it because of reasons. But seeing this mysterious character invade Perrin's dream is a cool moment that brings more mystery to it. I hope that we also see him invade Matt and Ewain's dreams so that we can see what kind of messed up stuff he has in store for them. For my number 3 I have meeting the Tuathuan aka the traveling people, aka the Tinkers. As Ewain and Perrin get chased by a pack of wolves, Ewain concludes that maybe the wolves are actually leading them somewhere and after a while they come across the traveling people. They ask Ewain and Perrin if they know the song but they don't. We meet a bunch of the traveling people including Aram. In the book Aram was a character that I didn't like because to me he came across as a Mr. Steal Your Girl type of guy and I didn't like that. But here in the show he is more of a cool bro, you know. He's also kind of rude in the book but not here, he's very self-aware. He knows of the reputation that the Tinkers have and he jokes about it. The Tinkers have the reputation of being thieves. People say that they steal gold and children. But overall I think the Tinkers are a very cool group of people with some interesting beliefs that I'm sure we'll learn more about later in the season. And I really like our first introduction to them. I really hope that the TV version of Aram doesn't suddenly turn into the book version because I would end up looking like an idiot. At number 2 I have Rand and Dana. Rand and Matt arrive at a small town that has a dead Aeo in a cage and they meet Dana who is the owner of the inn. Dana offers them a place to stay in exchange for some work and then Rand and her really begin to hit it off. I was really enjoying the character of Dana so it came as a shock when she revealed herself to be a dark friend. This is the first time we actually meet someone that openly admits to being a dark friend. She says that she has seen their faces in her dreams and she wants to take them to the Dark One since one of them is the dragon. I believe that this is also the first time that we hear the name of Ishamael which I thought was pretty cool. 
She explains why she's a dark friend and this is very important because now the new audience has an idea as to why someone would work for the shadow. Thankfully, Rand and Matt are saved by the gleeman, Ton Marilyn, which brings me to my number one. At number one, I have Ton Marilyn. Every scene that Tom is in is amazing. We first meet him as he performs at the inn and he's performing a song about a man that broke the world. I wonder who that is. This is really cool world building and what a way to introduce Tom Marilyn. Tom then steals Matt's money and I found this to be really funny because in the book Tom is such a nice man so seeing him steal from Matt was kind of funny to be honest. We then see him and Matt bury the Aeel that was killed in a cage outside of town and this is my favorite scene in the episode. We learn a little about the Aeel from Tom. He tells Matt that the Aeel have unique hair which we see in this scene is red hair and also that an Aeel is only dangerous when they are veiled but this Aeel in particular wasn't so the people of the town killed an innocent man. As Matt is going through the Aeel's pocket, he finds a little dog statue, which is a nice little easter egg, and then he and Tom bury the Aeel. When Tom tries to give Matt his money back, Tom learns that Matt has already taken it back. I absolutely love these interactions between Matt and Tom. They're on their way to becoming really good friends. And finally, we see Tom once again as he saves Matt and Rand from Dana. He throws a knife straight at her throat which kills her instantly and something that I'm very curious about is how much he overheard from Dana as she was making her speech. Because if he overheard everything then he knows that one of them is probably the Dragon Reborn and I'm looking forward to seeing how he reacts to this. And I say this because this entire plot doesn't happen in the book. In the book Tom is introduced very early on. He is present at the two rivers when the Trollocs attack and this is because he was going to perform there. I don't know which introduction to Tom I like better because I really like both. In the book he doesn't perform a song, he tells really good stories. But one thing that I do know is that the TV version of Tom is much cooler than the book version. TV Tom has a lot of swagger and he looks dangerous. So I'm really looking forward to seeing more of him. Seeing an Aeel so early on was such a cool surprise. I definitely didn't expect it and I really appreciate seeing Tom treat the dead Aeel with so much respect. And that's the end of the video everyone. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.